try to figure out what caused a plane crash in Collinsville that killed at least two people. This was the scene moments after the small aircraft went down in a nosedive into a residential area around 6 o'clock last night. This morning, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board will be arriving. 2 News reporter Patricia Santos is live on scene with more on this developing story. Patty? Well, authorities only saying that multiple deaths resulted from this crash and take a look behind me. This is the scene where the crash happened. And we've actually been moved back a bit further as investigators get ready to um, start their investigation this morning. The crash happened right in the backyard of this vacant house here in Collinsville. This was the scene just minutes after the crash. Take a look. We are told NTSB officials will arrive uh, just shortly to figure out what caused the small plane to go down. The crash happened near 14th and Broadway Street around 6 last night. The FAA reports the plane left Tulsa and was en route to Manhattan, Kansas. Witnesses tell us the plane was coming down in a nosedive. Another one reports seeing a broken wing. They say there was a huge explosion when the plane hit the ground. Came out to walk my dogs. I'm um, looking at the ground and I hear a plane in a nosedive. So I turned to look up and I see the plane coming down in a, di a dive. I hear it in a dive and, and it was going really fast and then it hits the ground and flames shoot up. Now, no one on the ground was hurt, but officials tell us there was one person inside the house that you see right behind us here, right next door. The names of the victims have not yet been released, and we're told uh, the officials right now are getting ready to shut down Broadway Street between uh, 14th and 15th as they get ready for NTSB officials to arrive. We hope to find out more about this crash during a news conference scheduled for noon today. Live in Collinsville, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you. All right, thank you, Patty. And of course, we'll